Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Sarahization. I am going to show you my Blu-ray collection. As you can see, last week we did Tim's, but uh, I'm going to show you mine now. Which I'm, re which Tim is recording it. Yep, he's recording it. First off, let's get to Avatar. Now, Avatar, at first I thought it was great, but after a second viewing, I thought, nope, it's not all that great, but it's still good to watch. Star Trek, uh, the first time in a, a long time, actually, uh, Star Trek has done a fantastic job. It hasn't been on the air in such a while, but mm, I'm going to start watching that again. My parents own Avatar. Cool. Next is Inception. Inception is a great Christopher Nolan film. Like, it might confuse you, it might piss you off, based on its political views, but <laughs> whatever... It's still great to watch. Cowboys and Aliens. Now, this is a weak entry for uh, both Daniel Craig and Henry Ford. but Harrison it, Ford. Harrison Ford, my bad. But it's it, it still does a pretty good job for the sake of a Western. It's not a great Western, but... It's you gave a, it a three and a half, though, I thought. I didn't... Whatever. How many do you give it, really? Three and a half. Okay. That's not that's pretty good. Scott Pilgrim. Now this is a great Michael Sarah film. If you're a video game man then Scott Pilgrim's the movie for you since you know, that's basically what it is. It's a comic turned into a game and turned into a movie. Invictus Invictus is probably one of my favorites of two thousand nine. It's a rugby movie and it's a story about uh Nelson Mandela, but, yeah, I mean, I still love it for the fact that it's a terrific acting movie, and if you want to become a rugby player, then this is the movie for you. Super 8, now, uh, this is kind of a rip-off of two movies. It's ba it's it's a rip-off of Close Encounters and E.T., but then again, like, it's still, like, such a great movie. Like, I, 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 I like, like, when I saw trailers, I was thinking that this would be the best movie of 2011. And, well, it actually wasn't, but it, it was on my top list. Watchmen Director's Cut. Now, you see, I love Watchmen. I really do. It's, it's a great entry for Zack Snyder. And, and, uh, like... I don't know. I don't know where Zack Snyder comes up with this stuff. Like it's based off a graphic novel, but he turned it into something that's like over three hours long, and that's impressive for a director to do something. I like loved that. it more. Yeah, yeah. Next on our list is Platoon. Platoon is a war movie that is like, oh my god, you're just like gonna like love it. It's like it's a war movie, man. It's pretty bloody. It's also famous for that scene where. Bullets keep shooting at one guy who keeps staying alive. Mortals. Now, Mortals. I thought that was a disappointing movie. I, I on the other hand, thought it was a great movie. Get rid of the thumbs. No one cares. I you like, did it earlier. I like this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You did the thumbs earlier, too, you know. Yeah, yeah. But. And the Mortals. Immortals, well, Immortals, it's terrific. It's it's visual impressive, and I like the plot too. It's 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 a pretty good movie. I thought like like pretty great actually. Like I I'm one of the few who actually love it, unlike critics. Well, and kind of me too, because I thought it was disappointing. Yeah. But remember me is probably still my least favorite Blu-ray I have, but. Why well, didn't show two is because those were like my two least favorites, and they both got like terrible reception. Well, I'm actually going to show all of them since I don't care. The Arrival. The Arrival is like, it's one of those Charlie Sheen movies. Like, Charlie Sheen, who's best known for his TV show, Two and a Half Men, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, he's been in Major League, he's been in uh, Wall Street, he's been in this. He was also in Platoon. But in this one, like, but but besides that, like this is a great step for the alien invasion genre because usually that genre sucks. But this one actually like gave us some surprises. That... My my grandpa has actually seen that movie. He liked it a lot. That's awesome. That's great. In time, 
and Time is probably the best Justin Timberlake movie I've ever seen. Also, because it's like, because like it's cool, it's green, and it has like an interesting premise. So it's one of those like intriguing premises, like butterfly effect. Even though it gets critically unacclaimed, I still thought it was j very original and like very and like inventive. Because like I I haven't seen any other sci-fi movie like that. Alien. Now, Alien is a sci-fi movie that will go down always as one of the greatest, because that's just what Alien is, is a, a, like a scary, surprisingly um, eventful sci-fi horror. It's like, normally, norm normally sci-fi sci -fi and horror don't go together that well, but this, this did a terrific job, actually, and... I'm proud of it. And I gotta say, I actually have it on two disc standard DVD, which came out like 2003. You know what, Tim? That's good enough, actually. Two discs. Yep. Project X. Now, I know a lot of people hated this movie, but I'll tell you what. I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. It is like, it is, it, it, like, it gives you an idea, an idea of what every teenager's dream is, is to have a wild party and, like, do all that other kind of crap that there is. Like, but it's awesome crap. Like, it's hysterical. It, it's, like, so, like, like, thoughtful. And, like, I don't know. I mean, like, it's just one of those movies where, like, it's so underrated that, like, people who've seen it and give it a bad review, they probably, they're just too old for it. <laughs> but whatever. Next, we go to Crank. Crank is a rather messed up type movie. Well, it is Jason Statham, so what else is there? But you no, know, Crank is it's a, it's it's very it, it's high in adrenaline. It's it, it's very kinetic, and like just by watching it, you're thinking, "Wow, I haven't seen any other movie with a camera like this." But Crank is good like that. Dude, where's my car? Now, Dude, Where's My Car is uh, <clears throat> is one of those Ashton Kutcher movies where you're thinking, huh, it's pretty stupid, but I actually like it. Because normally Ashton Kutcher doesn't come out with anything good. And, uh, well, critically, none of his movies have done great, I think. But I love some of them, and this is one of them. It also has Sean William Scott from American Pie. And, well, this is just like, I mean, what? What what the quote says right here, wildly hilarious, that is what it is. No Country for Old Men is a cool movie. It's cool. I mean, it's a Coen Brothers movie, so it's going to have, like, a cliffhanger ending. And it did, and, like, I mean, sure, it's messed up with, uh, you know, Javier Bardem, but that's just how he is, especially in his other movie, like Skyfall. And oh, like and... I think my parents have Skyfall. They own Skyfall? Yeah, my dad bought it. The Blu-ray Compact? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to buy that too. Dark Knight Rises. Now, The Dark Knight Rises isn't, isn't quite the movie we all want to think about. I mean, I want you, I mean, because of that shooting that happened in July at the midnight premiere. But Dark Knight Rises, like, at first when I saw it, like... I didn't think it was great. I just thought it was good. But once I got a second viewing of it, I changed my mind and thought it was great. But I still don't th I still don't think it's an overall like best Batman movie. I think it's one of Tim Burton's that go down as the best. I thought you said Dark Knight was the best. <sighs> Whatever. But you liked it better than Watchmen. Yep, I did. Now we're going to go True Grit. True Grit is another Coen Brothers movie that is, um, terrific, because, like, it's western, and it's bloody. That's what we all like. And it's also a remake of a, um, also great western movie, but this one, this remake, it's one of those remakes that works well than the original. My parents have that, too. Yep. They sure do. True Grit. Um, it's a triumph, just like what the quote says. Um, Connor, it's 
at 10 minutes. Okay. Next video. Yeah, sure.